welcome back to another episode of Timmy's Tours. Now this episode we're a little bit closer to home. We're just outside dwelling up and we'll be taking on the Captain Fawcett track. Now the Captain Fawcett track runs from pretty much dwelling up down to Quinn Danning and follows the Murray River along the way. Most people start at the dwelling up end, so to get here is very, very simple. Drive into the dwelling up and follow Nanga Road and then you'll see the sign that says Captain Fawcett track. You can't miss it. So navigation, navigating the track's pretty easy too, guys. It's like a little four-wheel drive sign, little round tyre on it, and you just follow that, and that'll get you right through to the end of the track. So on the way, there's some awesome spots to see, guys, along the Murray River. Um, there should be a little bit of four-wheel driving in there, a bit of technical stuff, which should be pretty good. So let's go. We'll get it happening, and I'll take more of the way. So the history behind the Captain Fawcett track. Now, it's my understanding that back in the early 1800s, there was a guy called Theo Fawcett. Now he was a very wealthy man and he owned quite a lot of land around this area and most of it was for farming. And so what he wanted to do is he wanted to make the traveling distance between various properties a lot shorter. So he came up with the idea of actually cutting this track through along the Murray River. And that's how it became the Captain Fawcett track. Anyway, thanks to Mr. Theo Fawcett for cutting this track because now people like us, us four wheel drivers, we can get out here and enjoy it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful out here, but during the winter, guys, just remember during the winter this track is shut and that's for obvious reasons, so just bear that one in mind. Captain Fawcett track you'll see some little tracks heading off to your left now pretty much every one of those tracks go down to the river some are quite gnarly and some are not too bad so anyway we'll turn down this one and we'll have a quick look Check it out, what an absolutely awesome spot to come down to. Now like I was saying before, there's a whole lot of spots along the track that you can follow and get down to the river. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because I simply don't have time guys today. I'm only here for the day, it's already lunch time. And I'm going to show you one more and it's actually my favourite spot. So when we get there I'll show you that. There's also like um, up the top here, there are places to camp. I'll show you, but in saying that, are you legally allowed to camp down here? No. They brought in the rule a few years back, no more camping along here. See up there, that'd be a perfect spot to camp in. But yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys what you can and can't do. But they brought in that rule, obvious reasons, people started doing the wrong thing leaving heaps of rubbish behind like that, fires still going, stuff like that, so simple fix, no more camping. And that's because of the three percenters, so for the rest of you guys to do the right thing, I'm really sorry. But yep, like I said, I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't do. Um, just check that out one more time before I get out of here. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'll have fun getting back up that hill, eh?
Okay, I have to show you this. Now, once you've done that section of the track, you're going to hit this gravel road here, down that way. It's called Driver Road. Now, what happens here, guys, is quite a few people miss the whole length of the faucet track. And, mate, the best places to check out, in my opinion, is further that way. So, I'll show you that little yellow tyre sign that I was talking to you about. It's over here. You're going to pop out on the faucet track from there and then right in front of you you'll see that little sign that I was talking about there's that tyre sign okay so that's what you're looking for and you want to head down driver road it's only, only about two kilometres maybe two, two and a half and then you'll see another one of those little signs pointing in and that continues down the faucet track so let's get there and I'll show you an epic place so there it is guys so when you pop out from driver road I actually set my auto for you it's actually 2.1 k's down driver road and then you can pop back onto the faucet track. Righto guys, so this isn't the favourite spot that I was talking to you about. I got there but it was full of guys camping so I just let them be, left them to do their thing. I didn't want to go in there and upset them. But what I will do is I'll, um, I'll just drop a photo in because I've been there before so I'll drop a photo in to give you some idea. But I headed further down the track and found this place. So this will do me fantastic for lunch. I'm just going to sit here and have some lunch and then we'll get back on the road. But to find places like this, guys, you're just gonna have to venture off the track yourself and do a little bit of exploring. And then you can end up at a place like this and have it all to yourself. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.